Happy New Year, everyone. I just wanted to come in and let you know if you're someone that's used to my regular readings, this one's going to be slightly different. Uh, I actually received a lot of messages last week to do it in this specific way, and it's a lot more cards than I'm used to, so please be patient, and I hope you enjoy it as much as the other ones. Thanks. Hello, beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to your weekly oracle reading. Let's see what message, messages the universe has for pile one. And the first card is, be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you have achieved and be proud. And this is the perfect time of year to do so. It's easy for us to get caught up and go, go, go and achieve one thing and just keep moving forward. I'm guilty of this as well. But for those of you who keep journals, go back and look through the journal, relive these things that you've done, that you've achieved this year. And if you're not someone that keeps a journal, I would suggest making a list of at least 10 things Go back and revisit those feelings, those emotions. Be proud. I'm sure you'll remember things that you've already forgotten about or maybe you didn't see before. And just celebrate this moment as we move into the new year. You've achieved and accomplished so much last year. Be proud of this. And the next two cards, actually they're kind of similar. Hello from heaven. You, your loved ones in the spirit world, want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking about them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you, to prove they're with you at this time. And look at this, memories and your memories, uh, your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happy moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. So spirit world is coming through twice. And again, it's talking about remembering memories and they want you to know that they're here with you. And this is not just past on loved ones, but it's also uh, I'm picking up on ancestors. Some of you may be aware of your ancestors and some of you may not be aware, but look at all the hands in this one, the gifts. They're supporting you, they're here. They're Again, they're sending signs and symbols to let you know. So maybe you didn't realize and you've just been thinking about them or they just keep popping into your mind and you don't know why. Especially this time of year, this is such a magical time. You know, the veil is thin, spirits, tend to be around us a lot more stronger. And let me see the next, oops. Limitless, and this card, look at that heart shining bright and all the heavenly connections into the crown. And again, it's under be proud of your achievements. It's reminding you the universe is saying, yes, all of the support is around you, seen and unseen. Remind you, you are limitless. Whatever plans you have for the new year, you're going to do great. Even if you don't have new plans and you're starting something new, you're not sure how you're going to get there. But as long as you keep moving forward, you are limitless. You are receiving all the support you need. So don't be afraid to jump in and try something new. And look at that. Mirrored souls right under the hello from heaven. So whoever these passed on loved ones or ancestors, there's someone that feels very deeply connected to you. And you can feel this connection even though you may not always know what it is or why it's coming through. Maybe you're somewhere and you see something and you get a certain feeling or emotion and you don't know why. That, that is the ancestors, that is the loved ones, the past on loved ones connecting with you. And time out. This is coming through twice where it's take, talking about taking a moment taking time out. So they really want you to reflect on the things that you have achieved. 
Look at all that rainbow light coming around that tree. It's all lit up. The universe is shining for you. The ancestors are here. The past on loved ones are here. They want you to know that they are so proud of you, all the work you've done. Even at times when you were probably, I, I'm hearing you were, too, they're saying you were too hard on yourself to, um, they were so proud of you. Even when you felt like you were at your worst, you were still trying. Even if you were struggling, you were still thriving. You were still pushing through the most difficult times. And that's usually when people give up, but you did not give up. And that's what they want you to know, that they're so proud of you. And the pleasure. This is a reminder to take time for joy, for pleasure, for the things that mean the most to you. You have been doing a lot of hard work and you've been a little hard on yourself, as they were saying, but also they want you to take time, again, reflecting on what you've achieved. They're hoping in this new year, look, there's a new gateway. They want you to take more time and indulge in having fun. Every time you achieve something, whether it's something little or something big, they want you to recognize that and to celebrate the moment instead of pushing yourself so hard and working through and just kind of skipping over that part. This reading is about, um, I'm seeing more of it unfold, it's about taking more time to appreciate yourself and the things that you've done. And they're letting you know they're here, they're helping you. And they're so proud of you. You're achieving and doing things in this lifetime that they never got to do. And community, look at that rainbow coming through. Transformation. They are your community, but they're also saying a lot of the times when you're feeling stuck, when you're feeling sad or you're, you notice you're starting to beat up on yourself again, they want you to surround yourself with a community. It can be a lot of people, a few people, whoever you trust, but someone that knows what you're dealing with and what you're going through. That is another message that's coming through very loud and clear. Um, there are certain things that you use to help you, but they want you to be more open to new things that you may not have tried before. It's going to be more helpful and they're going to guide you and show you when this comes through. This community is going to help you because it's going to be um, people and things that are more understanding. They're going to that have had the same experiences and know what you've gone through. And action. Look at that. This card says time out. This is action. So yes, after you take the time, you get the help you need, you appreciate and celebrate, then take action again. So this is more about aligning with that flow, not just go, 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 remembering, take time, um, take pleasure, enjoy, celebrate the little and the big accomplishments. And then once you do this, then it's time to start over, take action, then keep moving forward. And they're saying in this way, it's going to help you be more productive. You're going to get more done. You're going to be happier. You're going to feel better. It's going to be so much easier to achieve and accomplish by doing it this way instead of the constant focus on go, go, go. And look at this mirrored souls. Notice how um, the heads are together and it's like one consciousness. Look at that. The mind, openness, flexibility, imagination and learning. So higher consciousness is coming through three, four different times, connecting with your ancestors and your loved ones in this way, um, paying attention to what random thoughts pop into your mind. And this is a lot of, for some of you, this is how many of them connect. Um, and you'll know when it's them because the thought will be something you'll be like, oh, that's strange. That's not something I would normally think or what an odd thought. That is when they're coming through. That is when they're speaking with you as well. And sacral chakra, connecting to the sacral chakra again, pleasure coming through twice and just taking time to enjoy life more. Maybe um, since this is coming up twice, you definitely need to do some chakra work there on the sacral as well. And three last messages are coming through for you. 
happy anniversary. And I don't know what that means. Some of you will know what this means. You're celebrating some type of anniversary, obviously. But again, celebration is coming through here. Eat, sleep, be happy, repeat. So I love that this message came through. This goes very well with action again, taking that time, do what needs to be done, but then enjoying it, relaxing, celebrating. And the last card, you make me happy. And look at that where it's coming out on the, um, I love how the cards are very similar on that tree as well, where it's on time out. And remember when I was telling you earlier on the card up here, it came through, they're saying that they're so proud of you. So there's, they're wanting you to know, like they're really getting this message coming through very strongly again, a second time. They love you. They're so proud of you. Again, you're doing things that they never got to do in their life. So I think that's another reason they're, they're coming in so strongly because they're enjoying this moment with you, which also makes sense why they're saying, take that time. They want you to really appreciate what you're doing because they didn't do it. They didn't get that opportunity in their life and they're experiencing it with you as well. Oh my gosh, very powerful. Okay, so those are your messages for the week. I hope they're helpful. Good luck on your path, highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Sat Nam. Hello, beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to your weekly oracle reading. Let's see what messages the universe has for pile number two. And the first card, soul power. Always remember your soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. So this is reminding you what a powerful being you are especially as we're moving into the new year. I know this really gets some of us fired up while others might not feel as good about it, but also remembering uh, as it's talking about your soul, maybe some of you have been getting a little too stuck in the 3D and need to brush up on your spiritual practices or maybe try some new ones as well. But look at the bird that is freedom and also look at that bright red breast, like alive, powerful, grounded, and thriving. And the second card, study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn, whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. So taking charge, standing in your power. And for some of you, this could be actually going back to school and this could be just life lessons, but it's time as we move forward um, to start reflecting and looking on new ways of, uh, new ways of living, new ways of life, um, new ways of seeing things. And the third card, inspire passion. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to reignite your passion and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. So the divine message or divine coming in twice, where here it's talking about that this is about igniting your passion where this the first card is also very similar um, tapping into your soul power the divinity within you um, learning something new something that inspires something that is um, ignites your passion and often when we live our purpose when we do what we love that is when we um, have, make the most change in the world that's when we influence and inspire others to do well so this is all about something new moving forward standing your ground being strong in your power doing what you love and look at this the next card i'm starting to see why i was guided to create <laughs> this particular style of reading a new chapter 
So confirming again up here, this is a new chapter of your life. It's time to get excited. And that looks like a waterfall. I'm not sure if that is, but I think it might be a waterfall. So water connections, you might be a water sign. And what does water do? Water is constantly moving and flowing. So inspiring you to keep moving as you start this, not to stop. Water brings a new life. It's constantly renewing itself. And the second card, communication. And look at that also up here, blue. Well, butterflies are transformation, but the throat chakra is coming through. So for some of you, I'm getting, uh, you might begin to, for some of you, this could have something to do with public speaking. Either you're starting to do it or you've been thinking about it. And for others, this is just about soul communication again connecting more with the divine connecting more also with your inner power and look at that her third eye so maybe doing some third eye meditation um, listening to specific music hertz frequency music and trusting tapping into that third eye because more information more of the power um, more of what's going to inspire you the messages the motivation is going to come through in this way and the next card is Patience. Wow, there's a lot of, I'm not used to reading so many cards, so please be patient with me. There's so much information coming in, and I'm just trying to <laughs> get it out. So Patience also, this is a reminder to be patient. Um, two things I'm hearing. Some of you are not 100% sure yet what it is, So, but be patient with yourself. If you're not sure what it is, just be open, ask for guidance. We are always guided. And being patient with yourself, patient as you jump into this, you might hit some blocks, um, some unexpected things might come up that you feel is holding you back. But be patient, don't give up on this. You're going to get everything that you need that's gonna help you work through this. Okay, and the next card is diligence. And again, another bird that represents freedom. So this passion, this pursuit is going to bring more freedom in your life, being diligent and also um, seeing things with different eyes, seeing things with a different view is going to help you. Um, when you notice that you start to maybe judge or see things like you normally do, take a moment and just say, help me to see with different eyes and just wait for a second and allow yourself to receive that download, that upgrade or whatever it is um, will come through. The guidance will always come through. Just ask. And look at that miracles and not just miracles, but look at that double rainbow. So this is going to bring, oh my gosh, um, this passion, once you start doing it or you figure out what it is, this is going to bring so much abundance into your life. It's going to affect others. It's going to affect the world around you. It's going to bring so many miracles that you're not even going to believe it yourself. It's going to start connecting you with people that you never imagined connecting with, people that inspire you. It's going to start attracting um, more opportunities in your life as well. And the last, or the next card, sorry, not the last card, purity. And purity kind of goes, I take that with patience as well. But this is a reminder, once you start doing this, and you're inspired, and you're flowing, and you're meeting all these people and these opportunities, this is also about staying true to yourself. And look at that blue is coming through again, throat chakra. Always remember... You don't have to do anything you don't want to. Don't let people force you into it. And I'm getting, if you're not 100% sure about something, don't make a decision until you're ready. But always remain true to yourself. Remain true to whatever it is you're working on. Sometimes we can get caught up and lost. But this is just a gentle reminder to be true to yourself. Be pure in the project. Okay, and I don't have enough room on my little table, so I'm bringing in a couple more cards. And the next one, uh, insight, understanding, awakening, awareness, and self-elevation. 
So again, third eye on top of the third eye. Wow, I just realized that. So this is really powerful. A lot of your information, again, is coming through the third eye. It's going to help you understand. It's going to bring more awareness. And it's going to be so much easier for you to work through this. Just remember to ask for the guidance. And again, throat chakra, blue, will, expression, assertiveness, self-control, and direction on patience. So slow and steady. Again, being patient when you get frustrated. Don't give up. This is a major project. It's going to bring so much joy and beauty and abundance in your life. So also besides the third eye, focusing on that throat chakra. And the last three messages I have, focus on the good, find joy in the journey, and design your life. Wow, what a beautiful message. You have so much uh, divine power coming in on this reading. Like the guides, the divine creator um, is working with you through this more than usual. Like this is such a powerful reading. I wish you could feel it the way I do. All this energy coming through. Everything you need is with you. Just try to be more in sync. Go with the flow. That's where the magic happens. So those are your messages for the week. I hope it is helpful. Good luck on your path. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam. Hello, beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to your weekly oracle reading. Let's see what messages the universe has for pile three. And let me just pull your first three messages. Ground yourself. Oops, sorry, let me grab my glasses. Uh, being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are signs that you're ungrounded. Now it's time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect to divine source. And the second card, I thought this was really interesting, Stand, ground yourself and stand your ground. Standing your ground is empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it, and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. Okay, so by not feeling grounded, there's something that you really need to uh, pay attention. Somebody might be trying to take advantage because when we're off our game, that's usually when we're easily manipulated or not paying attention to what's going on and might get put into a situation that we don't particularly want to be in. So ground yourself and pay attention to what's going on right now. Um, don't let this person or whatever this is manipulate you. And the third card is a mother's love. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time, holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. Okay, so ooh, a lot is coming through with this one. A mother's love. This, um, the first two things I'm getting is uh, you're... Some of you might be living away from your mother right now and you really miss her. For some of you, your mother has passed. For some of you, this is a grandmother. And the last message coming in is, this is someone who was like a mother to you. She was not your mother, but she was like a mother to you. And um, for those of you that have passed away loved ones, this this um, person is around you. She is supporting you. She wants you to know that she's here for you. And for those of you who are away from your mother, uh, of course you can always call and connect with her even though it's not quite the same as seeing her. But either way, she is here for you. She wants you to know that. And whatever this is, um, this turbulent situation or whatever this is that's catching you off guard and making you feel off balance, she is here for you. She is supporting you. So these are the first two messages. These are the main ones coming through. She wants you to focus on grounding yourself and standing your ground so you can better handle the situation. And the next three cards are Choices, Hope, and Unconditional Love. 
Okay, so choices. Again, standing your ground, you have some choices to make. And this is reminding you, look, this actually, I don't think this is Egyptian, but for some reason I pick up on Egyptian goddess energy. Or um, feminine energy is not specifically a woman. Um, the energy coming through I'm getting is just powerful feminine energy. So again, the mother, mother energy is coming through. And... She's letting you know, yes, these are some very major and important, uh, important choices that you need to make right now. But before you can do that, again, ground yourself, get stable and steady. And the third one is light at the end of the tunnel, hope. So some of you know what the situation is and you're a little um, frazzled by it. You may have been avoiding it, but I get hope. Hope is here. The mother is here. Uh, mother is appearing twice. So also, you know, again, the mother energy, it could be Mother Mary as well. Um, so you're surrounded by extremely powerful feminine energy right now. And not to give up hope, this situation is going to work itself out, not to worry. But because you're unbalanced, uh, you're not grounded, you're all over the place, your mind is picking up on things, you're having random thoughts that are not helping you but just because you're kind of in fear mode. And look at this again, another light. Oops. And this is unconditional love. So again, the universe is reminding you with all this feminine energy come in, you are unconditionally loved and reminding you um, a lot of times also when we're in certain situations like this, we can beat ourselves up. So reminding you, um, if you don't love yourself, if you don't cherish yourself, it's difficult to receive love from anyone else because when you don't feel worthy that you deserve it, you block it in some way. So all of this beautiful divine feminine energy that's coming in to help and heal you, you might be blocking it because you don't feel worthy. You don't feel like you deserve it. But you do. That's, I think that's part of the reason why all this mother energy is coming in so strong to remind you somehow you've gotten away from it or maybe someone has led you to believe that you're unworthy. But the universe is saying, no, come back. Come back to us. You are worthy. You deserve this love. And relaxation. So this goes very well with grounding. Take some time for relaxation. And by taking this time to relax, it's going to bring more clarity. It's going to bring um, more clarity, more positivity. It's going to help you. It's going to help restore you back to a more grounded state of being, a more calm and peaceful state. And forgiveness. Okay, because this is coming up with uh, unconditional love, what I was saying about you being too hard on yourself. For some of you, this is about uh, forgiving yourself. There's something that you've been really troubled and feeling guilty about, but this mother energy, this divine feminine energy coming in is saying it's time to let that go. It's time to forgive yourself. And uh, for some of you, it's about forgiving another person. Um, but mostly what's coming in, it's more about forgiving yourself. There's something that has just been making you feel really bad and depressed, and it's just time to let this go. And opportunity. So this, at this time, this is the perfect opportunity. Um, whatever this is you've been holding on to, this um, again, I think that's why all of this divine feminine energy, this Mother Mary energy is coming in. This is the perfect time. You're being supported in a way that you haven't been before. All of this mother, um, grandmother, divine goddess energy, Mother Mary energy is coming in. And also, look, Mother Earth with the crescent moon. So a lot, this is, I've never had a reading like this before. This is incredible. So... Um, specifically take time to relax, to reground yourself before you make this choice, this decision up here. And the next two cards, 
pleasure, which goes great with relaxation and regrounding, enjoyment, beauty, sensual, sensuality, indulgence. So doing some work with that sacral chakra and the other card, self-expression, vocalization, individuality, inner voice, assertiveness. So through the self-expression, again, forgiving yourself, doing some forgiveness, exercising, expressing yourself, whether you're thinking about it or saying it out loud, and getting in touch with that sacral chakra energy as well. And the last three messages I have are, keep going no matter what. Oops. The best view comes with the hardest climb. Oops, you are beautiful. Wow, this was such a powerful reading. I hope you can feel that feminine energy coming in, that mother energy. They're all here supporting you. Again, this is the perfect opportunity. Take advantage of this. Do some meditation, ask for guidance. Open your heart to this divine healing. This is so perfect for the new year. And again, it's this is incredible. I've never had a reading like this before. So this was specifically to help heal you, to reground you, to help you make better choices, and to surrounding you with all this mother, all of this mother's love, this healing, this divine feminine energy, because that's what you've been missing. That's what you've been asking for. And this whole reading is full of it. So you are supported. Just ask for guidance in how to better help heal certain areas of your life. Those are your messages for the week. I hope they're helpful. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam.